Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another June Tastic Love Reading, Scorpios. Shout out to all of the beautiful, amazing Scorpios. Y'all, it's hot here in Arkansas. I'm talking about, <laughs> I had to force myself to go to the store because I needed more water because I drink plenty of water. Shout out to the Scorpios who believe in the H2O. And how befitting, I was just laughing at that today, how I happen to love water. And some people can't stand the taste of water. Is it, is it associated with being a water sign? Because I know I love water. I love water. But anyway, Scorpio, I was walking in the store and it was so hot outside. It wasn't a wind blowing or nothing. It was like, it was just different. It's an unseasonable heat. It's like. It's like a film of heat over us. We just baking. And I was just walking like I was slow motion. <laughs> but like my feet was heavy and everything. So only go out if you have to. I know I don't need to tell you that. Make sure you check on your loved ones. Make sure you drink plenty of water. I was joking with my brother the other day because he be liking to drink pops and he trying to wing himself. And I said, yeah, you keep on drinking those sodas. As hot as it is, all it's going to do is make you right back thirsty you know, or drink some Gatorade or something. But anyway, Scorpio, this is another phenomenal love reading. I feel like spirit is talking to you, Scorpios, but keep in mind, this is a general. It's not going to be for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Scorpio, spirit wants you to look at the bigger picture here. And I feel like this happens to do with your manifesting here. Something that you may be missing, but check it out what Spirit is telling you. This is earth and water. Some of you guys could be dealing with the earth sign or another water sign. The big picture, it says, see your ideal future. Plan ahead. Think big, Scorpios. The white picket fence was once the idea for most. Today, you might define a new version of a picturesque life based on your personal values and aspirations. Keep this idea in mind when you choosing, when choosing where to invest energy. This card shows up, Scorpio, when your focus is on what's right in front of you and the miniature mini of life, when in reality there are much bigger fish to fry. Will you remember this situation a few years from now? Does it have an impact on the grand future you see for yourself? What are you building is meant to last. See the big picture here. It's almost like spirit is trying to tell you that maybe some of y'all need to go bigger. Maybe you're too busy playing it safe. Maybe you're thinking that you really can't have it. Because spirit, it says, go big. It says, plan and think big. That's what the universe is telling you. Because it's all about what your mind is focusing on, what you're trying to make, make happen. For some of you guys, you don't believe the little things. But spirit is telling you to think big because I feel like it's happening, especially with this manifest card right after it. This is all. This is every element. This could be dealing with a fixed sign. It says manifestation techniques, affirmations, visualizations. You are a, a magician and an alchemist. Speak truth to your desires. Take aligned action. Gather your resources and pour your heart into your goals. This card means that you are at peak power right now and have everything you need. Control your thoughts and words. That is, that is. Yeah, yeah. See there? Because whatever you think is what you're going to manifest. Remember your words. Obviously, Spirit is telling you, Scorpio, be mindful of your thoughts and your words at this time because your manifestation energy is heightened. So you may be saying something just, you know, just idly, not just really paying attention. And that's going to happen. So choose your words and choose your thoughts because this is manifesting season for you. And Spirit say you're going to get it. So whether it's good or not so good, Spirit is telling you to guard your energy and to make sure you're focusing on what you desire and not what you may have felt like you've lost or anything in the past. You are the magician and it's up to you to choose a healthy focus like focusing on 
something that's going to keep you happy, not something that's going to have you full of regrets and full of sorrow thinking that you can't do it because that's not lining up with what you're trying to get. See, they go to sun card. Leo energy, you could be dealing with the Leo or the sun is shining, it's illuminating you, but you also got a lover here, Scorpios. Two major arcanas for Scorpio. That's why Spirit is telling you it's a good time to manifest. So watch what you say, watch what you think in here, because that's what's gonna happen. I'm telling you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta cancel it out. You gotta speak words to you, you gotta play the magician. When those negative thoughts come, you have to reverse it, Scorpio, in your favor. Because it's like things are gonna come your way, but you do not have to accept it. The beautiful thing about this journey is that we do have our own free will. And so just like you have your free will, adversity is coming your way because that's what it's about. But you don't have to accept it if it's not good. So for some of you guys, I feel happiness here. Who but they go to five of wands? Inner conflict, confusion, knight of wands, oof. The emperor, justice, now there you go. The queen of cups, judgment, and the page of cups. So someone may be having um, five of pentacles, four of wands, king of swords, two of cups. So someone may be looking at the big picture now, Scorpios, either either you're not believing you can handle some spirits like, hey, 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 well, what are you doing here? Why are you thinking about potted meat when you could think about a full course meal here? I feel like for some of you guys, you've been playing it safe. But remember, Scorpio, whatever you fantasize about, that is a form of manifesting too. Don't, don't catch yourself fantasizing about something that's negative that's going to pull you back down. Because I feel like spirit see things. Spirit knows all things, and maybe you're not seeing it now. Now, remember, this is a general everybody's situation. It's not the same. And remember, don't base your life based on no tarot readings. You're highly intuitive. You are an empath. Tap in, Scorpio. That's what I feel like. I feel like y'all trying to manifest somebody here, okay? And it can represent someone that you're dealing with. It can represent you not believing that you can have it. When spirit is telling you, how come you can? Instead of saying you can't, you better start saying I have. Don't even say I can. Just say I have because your words can determine how long you got to wait. I'm just saying one day I'm going to get it. No, you're gonna, it's going to be one day. But if you start directing your destiny by your words in the direction you want it to go, then you'll get it quicker and you can eliminate any obstructions or any obstacles. So like I said, somebody needs to look at the bigger picture. I feel like they're going to because you do have the sun here. For somebody here, it could have been a comparison between you and someone else, or you need to make up your mind with this judgment and the lovers because that does represent choices and decisions. Soulmate energy, a romantic partner. I feel like what's going to happen is somebody's about to see the bigger picture of you. And somebody may be finally answering this call of love. Page of Cups, somebody may realize that they have feelings. And then for some of you, you got somebody here who is new, a new crush that's been, that's been pro procrastinating. Some but one here could have had external um, interferences, could have been inner conflict. You know, Scorpio, you know how people go through things, especially when it's in love involved. So what this manifest is telling you, you can have it all. See the big picture. I feel like Spirit is trying to tell somebody, you, you ain't got to settle for the mediocre life. You can have it all. You can get that American dream. See, what it say? Love, say welcome. See, somebody can have it all if they change their per, uh, per, perception here. Work on that because someone may be doubting it. So let's see, you got the sun card, the five of wands, the emperor, the knight of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You have justice and the lovers, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You have the queen of cups and the page of cups. 
Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, and you have Judgment with Taurus. So once again, I feel like someone here is finally getting it. They're seeing the big picture. They're seeing that they can have it all. It could be you realizing that you've been settling based on what you perceive you can have. Because if you believe a lie, that's what's going to happen. And, and it's so, like I say, it's so, it's so believing. It's so believable. You can believe that ain't nothing good going to ever happen in your life by what you think and what you see. But you can't always go by what you say. Because remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by trust and not by sight. So even though you don't see it, what you see may not be what you see. You still have to trust something greater than yourself. Or you have to trust something greater than your physical self. Because you already have a spiritual connection with your higher self. If it is true that we are gods, then that's what you are. And for some of you guys, you need to think like a god. So let's see. It's not anything really bad here. It's just maybe the five of wands could be someone feeling like there's competition because you do got the lovers. Or someone here may have been in inner conflict about who should they approach because you do got this knight of wands in here. Like I say, you could have been dealing with somebody here who was not looking for no big picture. <laughs> They're like, no, no, I'm, I'm fine with looking at the little, little picture. <laughs> but now that they done met Scorpio, now they got to look at the big picture. And they like, crap, I heard about y'all. Look, they go to King of Cups. Ooh. So let's see. Let's start off with the sun. Going in now, Knight of Wands. What's up with this Knight of Wands? Clarify the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Somebody here who is passionate, ambitious, uh, action oriented. See, could be a Cancer, the Chariot. So, someone is trying to make their way to. Ooh, ooh, I told you, somebody is. Seeing the bigger picture now, see? Because there go that magician and the king of cups, see? Ooh, la, 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 la. They're seeing the bigger picture now. I told you somebody's manifesting here, see? Now, either it's you, but I feel like it's them. The knight of wands is seeing that they can have more with you. See, there it is, the magician. Manifest. That's the magician with the big picture, see? I feel like someone is finally seeing things in a different light, they're seeing the bigger picture with this two of cups because there's love here, obviously, because you got the king and the queen of cups. Maybe they wasn't seeing the big picture at first in the knight of wands energy. Give me one more card for this knight of wands. But you got a twin flame. You got a couple here. What's up with this knight of wands? I've been looking for you. Oh, there will be an extended. I did an extended yesterday, but I don't know if I didn't have my speaker, my my cord plugged in all the way so they couldn't hear it. So I got to do it over. That sucks. But you know, it is what it is. Six of Pentacles. Somebody's realizing that they want to invest. They want to be generous. They want to put their time in Scorpio. Now that they see the big picture. Now, what's up with this emperor for Scorpios? Could be dealing with the um, Pisces, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Leo, Gemini, Libra. Why is this emperor here? Mm. This emperor looks like to me, I know it's not Prince. I think I just said that, but I know that it's Al, Al, what's it, Al Pacino in the Justice. Haven't you heard? No, I've been. All right, the emperor. Why is the emperor here for Scorpios? Clarify the emperor. Someone here who is wise, a father figure. Someone here who is trying to make the right decisions, who's trying to take control over the situation. What's up with this emperor for Scorpios? Mm. 
five of cups. Ooh, you got them crying. Oh, they see the big picture now, huh? They crying, see? King of Swords. In the reverse. I feel like someone is trying to overcome this. So they go to five of wands again, the seven of wands. I feel like someone here had, had a certain way of life, a certain way that they do things. Obviously, with this Knight of Wands energy, I feel like someone may have not been looking for no big picture. You know, like I said, I'm getting that. They wasn't looking for something. I'll tell you, about, you, you could have been dealing, you, you was dealing with a King of Swords in the reverse, okay? King of Swords in reverse up against the Queen of Cups, all right? I think I'm going to do y'all a bonus reading for new love because some of y'all don't want the ex, which I can't help but come out. Y'all know we in this other retrograde. <laughs> they who showing up, but I feel like someone has a lot of regrets, Scorpios, because they were blocking this. They were not emotionally uh, available. They were liars. See, they could have they been listening to toxic people. But somebody regrets this now, because I guess you must be long gone. I feel like this is somebody here who is finally seeing the bigger picture after the fact, Scorpios. See, because somebody realized that they was in a bad way of thinking, see? Came out again, but you got them in the up right now, see? Somebody is start. see, and who is it about? Scorpio, see? Told you, see? Somebody is finally seeing the bigger picture because they're manifesting you because you got the magician. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with another water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or Aries. Gemini, Leo. Libra. Now, what's up with this Queen of Cups? So you got the queen and the king of cups. So you know what that's about. That's about love. What's up with this queen of cups for Scorpios? And you got the four of wands underneath the bottom. Mm. King of wands. Could be dealing with the fire sign or you walked away or somebody walked away. Somebody probably was full of themselves. See, they go to Eight of Cups. They go to Seven of Swords. This person could have walked away from you or you walked away from them because of their gains, their arrogance, their lack of engagement. Somebody could have been all about themselves. Somebody probably thought they was fine, that, that, that they could get anybody that they want. But I feel like that's a false, false thing because you got the king of swords in reverse, the emperor in reverse. So someone likes to look like they got it together, but they don't. Someone masked this. This person is in love with you, Scorpio. But I feel like y'all walked away from this person because they was playing too many games. Now this person want to come back to you. I feel like this person wasn't offering much for what they were wanting. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, excuse me, Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Now you may be ignoring this person, not giving them your energy anymore. They go to Knight of Cups. So they could be saying that you're no longer inv investing towards them anymore. Now, I feel like this is was somebody here who didn't want no relationship. But once again, spirit is enlightening this, per enlightening this person. And somebody was, ooh, Scorpios. But I can believe it because you got the judgment card here. So someone may be finally seeing the bigger picture. And now they're going to be coming back in trying to offer you an apology and try to make it work with you. That's what I see because they're seeing it now. Somebody going to go from not wanting a relationship to just pursuing you, wanting everything with you. See, 
Maybe you done blocked this person. For some of y'all, y'all may have blocked this person. And y'all don't want nothing else to do with them. Somebody may have only wanted a physical connection. Because you got the queen of wands here. You got the queen of... See, I feel like somebody just wanted what they wanted. Because they wasn't looking... They wasn't planning nothing future with, with, with you, probably nobody. But now I feel like this person may be trying to check you out. This person may be watching you. It's almost like somebody know that they dropped the ball, but now they're worried that maybe somebody else then came and picked up their trash that they didn't set out or that whatever they thought was not valuable, they may be feeling like they are fools. Of course you're valuable. They just wasn't in the right space. They needed to change how they view you and this connection with this two of cups. For some of you guys, you got a soul, a cancer soulmate or a Pisces soulmate. And somebody's coming in to give. Somebody wants to build. Somebody wants to do something special for you. That's what I see. But they could be wondering if you're still single, too, because out of all the games that they play, they know that you're not connecting with them anymore because you may not be reaching out. So, you know, don't be surprised if people start having these spiritual awakenings, Scorpio C. And there go the lovers. For some of y'all, somebody need to make up their mind. Because you got the two of wands, you got the lovers in the reverse, and the queen of cups. We just saw that queen of wands, too. Or maybe somebody, maybe you need to make up your mind. Maybe you got a king of swords. Maybe you just got some toxic people that ain't offering much. But you got the emperor here. I feel like if you moved away from a connection here, Scorpio, that's the best thing you could have done. Because if they didn't see value in you, if they didn't see love, if they didn't see what, what you were bringing, that's on them. But it's so crazy. It's like when you stop chasing them, when you stop engaging, when you stop investing, and you totally do the totally opposite. Most people can't handle it. You let somebody build you up day after day after day after day after day or every other day or however, whatever you gave. You stop giving everything and don't give nothing. Yeah, it's going to change. They're not going to feel as confident. They're not going to feel as cocky. Now somebody is forced to see the big picture and maybe they were the cause of them losing this. OK, now I feel like they want it back. I write judgment for Scorpio's wise judgment here. Spiritual awakening, karma, judgment, final offer, awakening, decisions, final decision. Why is judgment here for Scorpios? See, two of swords in the reverse. So see, this is someone looking at the bigger picture now because somebody may be realizing they ain't happy. See, there is a lot of stress. There's a lot of overthinking things. It's almost like somebody is finally getting that there is a love connection here. Because I feel like someone tried to play it safe. They tried to deny it. I don't care what they heart was trying to tell them. They was like, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> they kept on trying to punch their heart sleep, but it just wasn't working. See, nine of swords. That's so sad. But with that two of swords in the reverse, God dang it. They're no longer in denial. They see in the bigger picture of what you really brought to this connection, Scorpios. Somebody's realizing that this connection, the connection that you have with them, Scorpio, is way much more important and intense than they gave it credit for. Someone may have never told you how they feel about you. Someone may have never showed you how they really feel about you, but this is how they feel. King of Cups, Six of Pentacles, they're manifesting you because they see the bigger picture. That's why they're coming in here giving now. For somebody, because it's a general. Now you got judgment and the two of swords in the reverse. 
see you steady coming out there you go again the queen of cups I feel like somebody tries so hard to just put you on the back burner of their heart and their mind. But I feel like you always came out. You always took over. I feel like you constantly took over this person's mind. OK. And I feel like it's fate and karma, too, because they was trying to do everything not to see the big picture. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's almost like most people in relationships when they're not looking for much. They're going to pick apart what they want out of it. And they just throw the rest out in the trash, I guess. But I feel like someone has really been trying to disconnect from you. Even if they were physically with you, I feel like they were trying so hard to not let their emotions get involved. It's almost like someone was determined that they was not going to fall in love. Because they wasn't looking for that. I'm just telling y'all, I'm just telling you, they wasn't looking for it. They weren't thinking about no big picture. It's funny to me. <laughs> and there go the food car. Here they are having a realization and a major epiphany now. See, and there go the tower. See, this is what this judgment is bringing in with the two of swords in the reverse. Somebody is finally seeing it on a spiritual perspective for what it really is. Because I feel like somebody was trying to deny what they felt, but spirits like, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. So this person probably couldn't sleep. They're always wondering what you're doing. I feel like this person feels bad for shortchanging you and not really investing in this connection when that's probably what you was trying to do. I feel like someone here was all about what they wanted. They, they felt entitled. But, but for some of y'all, I feel like it's also a learning lesson. But then again, I can't say that because sometimes you take a chance on love. You don't know that they ain't shit too long on down the line. You know, usually, usually you don't see it immediately because most people are trying to hide that. You know, you be meeting your representative or your person's representative. You don't be meeting the real person. You, you, you're hooking up with the mask. OK. But I feel like you're not doing anything wrong, but it's almost like. I guess it's, I guess it's a level of caution too. But I feel like most people are gonna do what it takes to make you fall in love. They're gonna make you feel like it's safe. They're gonna put that time in. They're gonna get your feelings invested. And then when you start coming on Scorpio strong, then they can't handle. It. They don't want to play no more. You know that's how it is, Scorpios. People do what it takes to get you engaged. They do what it takes to get in your energy, get in your heart, your mind. Some people really are narcissistical like that because you got the king. Of, look, this is what y'all was dealing. Y'all was dealing with somebody here who needed who needed to control you in order for them to feel better about themselves. See. King of swords, the emperor. See. This they was blocking this. But you see them now, though, they crying about it now, though. See there. So someone may someone may may have intentionally hid their emotions because they didn't want you to control them. But like I say, somebody has a lot of regret. Somebody is familiar with their with their toxic ways. But I feel like you didn't know with that Queen of Cups, you probably just looking for love. <laughs> You just looking for somebody that you can flood that cup with. And they 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 took a couple of sips. They did. But you was want somebody to take the whole cup, not just come sip in no night of wands. Don't be coming over here sipping. You better you better goggle. <laughs> you better be prepared to deep dive. God dang it. You can't come get no little sip over because Scorpio cup runs deep. I feel like that's what happens, Scorpios. You know how you draw them in with your love and nurture, and they feel like that's all they need until they get in there. <laughs> then when they get hooked, they be like, God dang, this is this this too much. I wasn't asking for all of this. And you like, yeah, but it comes with the package. And they were like, no, I just want the milk the cake. Like, no, baby, this cow soul, we go together. <laughs> I'm telling you, Scorpios, I feel like you have the ability to draw people in. But if they're not able to match your vibration, it's going to be a disappointment to you. So I guess it's, I guess it's just telling you that pay attention to the red flags. Also, guard your energy. Don't be so quick to 
give somebody your energy because you know it's so easy to hook up, but it seems like it's so hard to cut those soul ties because you know that that's what it represents. You're going to have a soul connection like it is now because this is a soulmate connection. All right, the sun card. What's up with the sun for Scorpio? Could be dealing with the Leo. Clarify the sun. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Taurus. I feel like this person is seeing things for what, what it really is now, okay? This is them seeing the bigger picture. It could have been somebody here could be realizing that they may have been procrastinating because they were afraid that if they gave all the way in, they were going to be disappointed. But that everybody got to take a leap of faith towards something. You just got to make sure it's worth it. So the sun card also represents happiness. See, two of wands, somebody make it, choosing a path. Getting out of indecisiveness, because I feel like somebody was indecisive. See, it could have been somebody needs to pick between you and other people. It could represent you need to choose. See, somebody choosing love, god dang it. See? They choosing their love, Scorpio love. Yeah, I seen, oh, I just seen the Empress. Oh, my God. See? I seen... Uh, what's her name? What's her name? Tasha P. I seen her do a crunch, a Mexican crunch. I said, I was going to make me one. It looks so good, too. I went to the store just to get, I had all the ingredients. All I needed was some of those crunchy tortillas. And I got me some guacamole. <laughs> Look, y'all. I'll be finding all kind of, what you know, Taco Bell do that, but to see you make it at home. And then see you eat it. It make you want to eat it. So sometimes you can't. It's like, ain't that something, y'all? It's just so crazy. Look how, look how vulnerable we are, though. It's like you can watch mukbangs and, and be fulfilled. Ain't that something? You Because I found myself, I mean, there's so many things that you would think shouldn't be a fetish, but the more you watch it, the more you're going to want it. You know what I'm saying? You, you would think once you see, you've seen one mukbang, you've seen them all, but like sometime, <laughs> sometime I want to watch fried chicken eating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The chicken mukbang, you know, a seafood. And then sometime it'll make me want some of it. But that's what, it's just like programming, y'all. Y'all know whatever we consume in our energy, that's what is, what's going to show up. For some of y'all, this person know you the real deal, Scorpios. Could be a Libra, could be a Leo. I see the justice card. I feel like somebody has realized that they're going to have to bring balance back or something wasn't fair to you. It's almost like you, you just came, you, it's almost like somebody looking at you like, I know you didn't know I wasn't shit. <laughs> that ain't your fault. You, you, you didn't come to me. You, you deserve better than that. See, somebody's saying they feel bad now, Scorpios, because maybe because you ain't around. Somebody know that you was wanting their love, but they wasn't giving it back, Scorpio. See? Justice. You got justice twice. See, this was in the reverse, though. See, that's what they're seeing. This is what they're seeing here. See? This is the big picture here. That they were indecisive. Somebody wasn't sure about you. That's what I'm getting. I feel like somebody wasn't for sure about, maybe they wasn't sure about you, or maybe they just wasn't sure about this connection. Maybe they did not believe that it was real, a real love connection here. That's what I'm getting. This person, but, but this person know that it was something because I feel like your connection with this person stands out over everybody else because you do have the lovers here. So it could have been other other people that they have been involved with that they may have not thought that you was they could have chose somebody else but spirit was like no if you really want the right one it's scorpio and they were like no it can't be scorpio because i'm just i'm just passing through they were like and they said they said no scorpio too intense that can't be scorpio but i feel like this is what they need because if they've been in this energy and you know that they need some healing and you know love can heal. And I feel like your person really don't know that they're here. See, this is why y'all y'all are uh, the bigger picture. Because not only that, because of your love for whoever this, your soulmate is, you're helping this person come out of this energy to this energy. 
see see this is from you this this is the effects of a scorpio see you didn't open this person hard up scorpio i'm telling you they're seeing the big picture now because at first they wasn't nor nor do i feel like they care to so now you got the sun card the two of wands Did I have some more cards there? I don't remember. Two or one. Oh, I was some more cards, but then I mixed them in. Our oh, Ace of Cups and the Empress. That's what it is. Followed by the Justice in the Reverse. See? But like I say, you got the Justice in the Upright. Somebody know it was one side. They know you was trying to pour all that cup down their throat. But this was them. This was your person listening to their ego because they didn't have. I feel like somebody wasn't used to attention, Scorpios. OK, that's what I'm getting. I feel like somebody wasn't used to somebody giving them this type of love attention here. This is why there is a lot of regret in this person here. I feel like this is somebody here who wasn't used to somebody showing them attention here. So they took advantage of it. See, Queen of Cups, King of Wands. And I feel like this is how they were, the Seven of Swords. And I feel like that caused you to walk away. And now you have the Hermit. And maybe you blocked this person. For some of y'all, y'all blocked this person because y'all got tired of dealing with somebody who thought it was all about them. Y'all walked away from this person, Scorpios, emotionally, because y'all couldn't deal with that King of Wands and Seven of Swords energy, which is the King of Swords. And the emperor, like, like somebody who, who thought that they, they crap didn't stink. They found, somebody found somebody here who made them feel like they was something. And I feel like they really wasn't. Because I feel like somebody needed to do some healing. So quite naturally, if they ran across you in this intense connection, they're going to run from it. I feel like somebody tried to run from it, but every time they run away, they end up running right back to it. Because this is somebody here who I feel like is not ready to let go. They, they just accepted the fact that they are in love now. So why is the lovers here? What if I the lovers? Could be a Gemini. Death. Could have been an ending. They go to Ten of Swords. And the three of cups, I feel like somebody's putting an end to a third party. Mm. Like I said, you got that two of wands, that two of wands in the reverse up here. This is somebody here, spirit is showing this person. See? Because I feel like this is somebody here at a crossroad. They didn't know what they wanted. So they wasn't offering nothing. I see you when I see you type of energy. But I feel like spirit was like, yeah, you can you can see them when you see them type of energy for everybody else, but not for this one. They're not like the rest. So stop trying to put them in a category. They're different. Just because you didn't do them right don't mean that they ain't worth it. No, you didn't do them right because of your issues. You got the gift. See, and that energy right there is going to make this person level up because somebody don't like how you view them. See, somebody don't like how you view them, Scorpio. See? Because you know you're seeing them right, and they don't like that. They don't like how they look in your eyes, see? Because somebody knows that they're better than that, or they want to be better. I feel like the love that they have for you is going to make them do it. Love can change things, because love does conquer all. So, like, I feel like here, I feel like somebody is trying to put an end to something, something else. Or you could have put an end to it with your, with your death energy because maybe you didn't want to be no third party. Maybe you didn't trust this person. Why is the lovers here? You got, you got Gemini and Scorpio. Some of y'all dealing with the Gemini. Uh, Aries, Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, Libra. The lovers. Four of Cups. Somebody that wasn't happy, see? And they go to five of swords, see? So you could have put an end to it because you like, look, somebody else must got your attention. Some of you guys feel like this person had other people that they were dealing with. They did not make you a priority. They were just trying to 
See, this person was somebody here who was holding back. See? But I feel like they don't want to hold back now. See the same person keeping tabs on you now? Why? Because they want to try again, you know. Because they see the bigger picture, Scorpio Page of Cups. Somebody finna apologize to you. Because I feel like somebody want to do the wiser thing. And I feel like this is somebody listening to their heart now. Page of Cups. See? Four of Wands. You got the King and the Queen of Cups. See? Somebody know you the one, Scorpio. I'm telling you, they see it now. And they did a lot of uh, avoiding it. They was avoiding this like they whole life was going to be over page of ones. Could be some type of communication coming in. Somebody may be trying to build their courage back. See, because somebody already made up their mind. Could be a Leo, could be a Taurus, see? Could be a Sagittarius. And they go that three of swords. Like I feel like somebody else is getting cut out. Because somebody see the bigger picture, I feel like somebody's realizing that they're wasting their time with somebody other than you. Because they probably was trying to avoid you. But I'm sure that they couldn't find nobody like you. All right, five of wands. Why is the five of wands here for Scorpios? Competition, confusion, somebody laid something to rest. See that four of swords? Like, you know what? This is too goddamn confusing to me. I don't want to deal with this. Now, either y'all did this or your person is doing this. Why is the five of wands here? Someone may have shut down uh, confusion or other people always talking. Because you got the five of swords too. It's almost like somebody needs to take control of their life and stop listening to other people. Three of Pentacles. I feel like somebody is somebody who they probably used to work with or something. See, there it is. If oh, I could say it good. I feel like somebody is laying something else to rest. For some of y'all, somebody else is laying something else to rest. Somebody that they may used to work with or work on, see? And they go to Six of Swords. Feel like somebody's moving away from that. Because they, so, see, like I said, y'all, once again, you know, it's always somebody else. There's so many options out here. But obviously, if you met this person in the Knight of Wands and they already had someone, either they just wouldn't, I feel like they wouldn't ish anyway. There's somebody who thought that they could do whatever they wanted to do and, and nobody could say anything. But I feel like y'all stood up to this person. All right, justice. Why is justice here? Mm. Once again, I'm getting that some of you Scorpios was, were married. Y'all was dealing with somebody here who was married or in some type of uh, long-term relationship. See, justice, queen of swords. See, they know they got to come do right by you because they know you're not going for it now, Scorpio. I feel like that's you. And then it could represent this something that's going on with a relationship. They go to higher fence. Justice, making peace. Because you got the justice in the reverse over there. So they could be looking at you that maybe you're not interested in them now. Because I feel like somebody don't even know if you've moved on, if you're dating other people, if you're single. And then it could be representing this person has been doing a lot of soul searching before they disconnected from that other situation and come to you with no interferences. Mm. Wow. Justice. The moon. See, this person don't know what to do. I feel like this person's had a hard time because I feel like somebody's finally seeing the big picture, but they don't know how to get out of another situation, what I feel like. It's almost like somebody's realized that the person they've been with is not the person that they're in love with or is not the same connection. It's like someone never had such an intense connection to compare it with. But this person may be realized that they never really was happy because if they was, they wouldn't be out here in the Night of Wands. It could have been somebody here who was hanging with your person because they were hoping for something, but clearly your person didn't offer it to them. See, this is a bunch of confusion. This, this could have been your competition. Five of ones that they're laying it to rest. 
some type of partnership. I feel like somebody was hanging in here, but it didn't go nowhere. They could have spent a lot of years together and still it didn't equate to nothing. Wow. And I feel like maybe, may, maybe their time maybe expired. Justice. One more card for justice. See? And there go the lovers. This person don't know what to do. I feel like this person didn't know what to do. You got Gemini, see? I feel like this is all about who they want to be with and who they need to choose. It's almost like somebody know that they got a, another situation, Scorpio, but they don't want that situation, but they want to come to you. But I feel like this person know that they got to do right. And I feel like it's hard because they see the bigger picture. Now it's only a matter of them trying to get out of whatever they're in because they're no longer find happiness in it. That's what I feel, Scorpio. They're finally seeing the big picture now, Scorpios. Now they're trying to make their way back to you, Scorpio, because they're in love. They're in love with you, Scorpios, if it matters. But this is your reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe.